Whoa, 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 whoa. What do we got here? What do we got here? I'm going to put this video in uh, two separate languages, yeah? Jadi kita akan coba mengupas video ini dengan dua cara. Satu berbahasa Indonesia, satu berbahasa Inggris. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to mix it because it's too much for me to take, you know? I can't understand this. I'm going to have the sort of the DMT and the sort of the ganja to make me thinking and able to think about the whole shit. It's a bit too much for me. Anyway, let's interact with this video, see how we're going. And, uh, my God. It's a bit too much. You know what I mean? And, uh, let's, let's listen to this. Karena saya akan ungkap kasus ini sesuai fakta. Saya sampaikan begitu. Dan waktu itu kemudian, setelah itu kami bentuk tim sus. Dan saya buktikan... Bahwa karena memang saat itu dia menyampaikan kepada kami uh, peristiwa skenario Durian 3, ya saat ini kita buktikan bahwa yang bersangkutan kita proses. Dan kami juga mendapatkan sisi... At the moment, ya, yeah, this is the Indonesian police committee, uh, the head of the police Indonesian force. He is explaining the situation to the, what do you call that one? the representative of the in uh, in the government the you know the, lo the local representative in the Indonesian government so anyway what happened is they explain about sambo yeah let me have a smoke let me cool down my head i just can't i just can't have this in my head at the moment it's a bit too much but give me a second With too much for me. I'm going crazy. It's fucking crazy. Become a smoke block. But anyway. So he explained. Because this case is such a big fucking case. You know. It's a big murder. Uh, and I still don't believe. Not even a little bit. These things to do. With the sexual harassment. That Joshua drop it on Putri Chandrawati because he fuck her. Let's continue. Let's continue the interaction. Diviva, walaupun itu copy dari flash disk, tapi menggambarkan uh, peristiwa yang uh, terjadi di Durian Tiga, di mana cerita awal Joshua dikatakan uh, sudah meninggal pada saat Ferdi Sambo datang di CCTV tersebut terlihat bahwa Joshua masih hidup pada saat Ferdi Sambo datang. Untuk okay, let me explain this. Let me explain this. Ah, uh, do you remember I told you guys about there's obstruction of justice. There is a uh, hundred police at least. It's about heaps of them get demoted. Heaps of them get fucking fired and all that shit because of Sambo planning but if we look at that closely actually this situation Sambo what he did he wasn't alone I mean now everyone screaming about Richard Eliezer they reckon he's not guilty not guilty not guilty well let's find out from this video what they saw in this video Richard Eliezer had the fucking time, plenty of fucking time to tell the truth. Yeah? Richard Eliezer, why don't you tell Joshua he is about to get killed? You got fucking plenty of time in there. Hal uh, lain, karena ini masuk di penyidikan, tentu kami tidak akan buka. Tapi paling tidak, Ada teman-teman seperti itu. Terima kasih. Here he is. Here he is. He just fucking get out from that room. If you guys able to see that now, he is that is Richard Eliezer with the two bar in his arm. That's him. And the white sir is Joshua. Richard Eliezer have plenty of 
time to tell Joshua he is about to get killed. But why the fuck that motherfucker Richard Eliezer didn't tell anything to Joshua? It's baffled the fuck out of me. This one getting... I can't understand it anymore, you know. It's a bit too much for my head. But hey, fuck me, God. What's going on here? Why the fuck he doesn't tell Rich, uh, I mean, uh, Joshua, he's about to get killed. He didn't say nothing. He is not under pressure. He knew it. He knew every fucking thing. He knew it, Joshua about to get killed. You can see that also in here, in this section. He didn't tell nothing. Fuck, it's getting really hot. It get me so angry, you know. It's fucking... How stupid people in Indonesia keep calling Richard Eliezer is a hero. He's not a fucking hero. He's not a hero. My God. My fucking God. Look at that. Richard Eliezer is guilty as fuck. We all know it. You guys know it. I know it. So why don't we say the truth? Why can't we tell the truth? The fucking truth is out there. Richard Eliezer is guilty. Richard Eliezer knew it. He know every fucking thing. He know Joshua about to get killed. But he didn't tell him. Bigger question is why Joshua, I mean, why Richard Eliezer didn't tell Joshua they are about to get killed. He's about to get killed. It's so unfair. It's so sad. The whole fucking thing is annoying the fuck out of me now. I mean, here we are. Here we are. We want Eliezer to get off from this fucking prosecution. Because he's still young. He's guilty. He's not guilty. I'm done. I'm done with this video. I'm done with this whole fucking thing. I can't, I can't deal with this shit anymore. I can't deal it. You know. You guys are going to have to help me out in here. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm done. I'm done with this fucking whole things. I don't believe nothing what fucking Richard Elias are gonna say about that he tried to protect Joshua, that he tried to see that. No, you fuck it. You are guilty. You are a fucking criminal. You are a murder. I knew it from the beginning. I look at your face and I say to myself, this kid is a fucking murder. Alright? Richard Eliezer is guilty. He's a baby face murder. I guarantee that. Thank you very much, guys. You know, this case getting closer and closer and we go more understanding we understand more about this case now so thank you very much